Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's severe weather update. So, a severe weather outbreak is likely across the Midwest today, and looking at the Day 1 Convective Outlook, the Storm Prediction Center for today has issued a level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk of severe weather across central eastern Missouri, southern Illinois, southwestern Indiana, western Kentucky, northwestern Tennessee, and far northeastern Arkansas in the orange shaded area. We have a slight risk of severe weather from central through north Texas through southeast Oklahoma, Arkansas, into most of the Tennessee Valley in the yellow, and a marginal risk extending from the Rio Grande Valley through the Ohio Valley and south in the dark green. And looking at our tornado threat for today, we do have a 5% chance of tornadoes touching down within 25 miles of a location across portions of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and far northeastern Arkansas, including Jefferson City, St. Louis, Missouri, Evansville, Indiana. Uh, make sure you're on guard for a couple of scattered tornadoes today if you live in the brown shade area, and an isolated tornado threat across the green shade area from portions of Texas through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Miss Mississippi, Tennessee, into portions of the Midwest. Taking a look at our damaging wind threat today, we have a 30% chance of damaging straight line winds of 58 miles per hour stronger within 25 miles of a location across this red shaded area in Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and northeastern Arkansas today. Make sure you're on guard for numerous damaging wind gusts if you live in the red shade area. We have a 15% chance of damaging straight line winds in the yellow shade area, 5% chance in the brown. Make sure you're on guard for scattered and isolated damaging wind gusts if you live in the yellow and brown shade areas today. And looking at our large hail threat, uh, once again this looks to be our primary concern as we have the threat for significant hail extending from Texas through southeast Oklahoma, northwest Arkansas, southern central Missouri into southwestern Illinois. If you live in this black hat shaded area, uh, make sure you're parking your cars in the garage because you could be seeing hailstones of golf ball to tennis ball to baseball size, maybe even a couple of reports of softball size hail today. If you live in Waco, Texas, Dallas, Texas, uh, Springfield, Missouri, Jefferson City, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, make sure you're parking your cars in the garage today. 30% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of location in southeast Missouri, southwest Illinois in the red shade area, 15% chance in the yellow, 5% chance in the brown shade area today. I'm taking a look at our future radar to time out our storms across the, uh, across the uh, south as we go through the afternoon. Storms are going to develop across southeast Kansas and Missouri, initially producing large hail. I'm going to be switching the view to, to the Midwest. And then going into 1 o'clock this afternoon, this is when we could start seeing a lot of hail producing storms across southwestern Missouri. Going into 2, 3 o'clock, a lot of hail producing storms moving across most of the state of Missouri into western Illinois. And then around about 5 o'clock, areas like Springfield, Missouri, uh, St. Louis, Missouri could be seeing large hail, scattered tornadoes. Going into 6 and 7 o'clock, going to be transitioning to a damaging wind threat as we see Boeing segments develop in our thunderstorms. Could be uh, moving as far north as north central Illinois into 7 o'clock this evening, and some across western Tennessee and Kentucky as well. 8, 9, 10 o'clock, could be seeing quite a damaging wind threat across southern Illinois, southeast Missouri, northern Arkansas southwestern Indiana as our storms congeal into a line and this will push through uh, Tennessee and Kentucky as we go through the overnight hours. Looking across Texas, we do have a large hail threat down in Texas mainly this evening going into about uh, 7 o'clock. Storms could begin to develop around the DFW area and then going into 6 and 7 o'clock could be seeing a couple of discrete supercells producing very large hail in north central and or central Texas. Going into 8, 9, 10 o'clock, these storms could be pushing down towards areas like Waco, Temple, the hill country, producing large destructive hail. 
and then eventually as we go into about midnight these storms should weaken below severe limits and dissipate due to the loss of daytime heating so thanks for watching today's severe weather update make sure you're preparing for numerous damaging wind gusts and large destructive hail across the midwest in the enhanced risk, risk shaded area and scattered severe thunderstorms from texas through uh, much of the midwest and the ozarks if you live in the yellow shade area thanks for watching today's severe weather update please stay safe and have a wonderful day my friends